surprise Do you see what I see? You see me in the screen I see you watching, you watching me Infatuated, got your brain soaked in ivory Looking at a star, you ain't fake astrology Let's call it Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing? My name is A Max with the facts You are now watching the AWF series And of course, I make the unknown Known And today I'm here with one of my special guests, by the way He's one of the biggest names in Taiwan So sweet and also, yes, he, like, you know, he also has a, a little international name, too. He goes by the name of Famous. You see, the thing that I think is hilarious is that the name of this show is called The Unknown Known. And, mm -hmm. like, my name's Famous. So this is, like, a special interview. This Because it's, like, unknown interview with Famous, you know? <laughs> kind of gives us, like, what are we about to watch kind of vibe. Well, the thing is that uh, it's not—it's not really your name itself. It's actually the story that we're going to be. I know, asking. I know, I know. Mm. But I think it's hilarious, which means there's a lot of story if it's from unknown to being famous. You know, <laughs> that's a lot of story. You know, there's a lot in there. <laughs> so let me ask you this: So famous, like one of the things that your fans and also your future fans wants to know is like what inspired you to come to Taiwan and uh, send your career here. <sighs> I guess we could say I was at a point where I tried a lot of things, you mm -hmm. know, this being my career since 2008, I really tried to, you know, plan to see where I wanted things to go next. So I, I'm from Toronto. I was doing my thing out in Toronto. That's where I started my whole rap career and stuff. And then mm -hmm. I was living in New York for a bit and then living in Atlanta for a bit. And then I was out in London doing a lot of stuff. and. Um, I think all I wanted to do was really get an idea of what each place had to offer and what the vibe was like. And then my homie, he was doing a show, uh, a concert out here at like three spots in Asia. And he was like, yo, fame, come out with me, my man Dio. Shout out Dio. He's the boss. Dio, Dwayne Gibson, check him out. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest freestyle. Right. Anyway. Say the Mandarin, you gotta go and get down Talking to my man like, damn, we the vets now Ain't no stress, cause all I feel is blessed wow. Anyways, so he did a show out here And he was like, yo, fame, come with me, check it out You've never been to Asia, I think you're gonna love it And that was it I did the show here, actually, at this location Brickyard I did a show um, for, for with D.O. And the vibe that I got, I just enjoyed the vibe, you know And then we did yeah. Singapore and we did Hong Kong, right? Mm. So once we did those, once I did those three cities being exposed to Asia, I was like, yo, this is dope. So then I actually worked it out with that man right there. So that's Graham. That's GG. Just say hi to for the interview. Yes. That's Graham, the other owner. Yeah, and that's my new Chinese teacher right there. We'll okay. get to all of that later. So um <laughs> So yeah, me and G we just worked on it and I've been here since, you know, doing a lot of touring from Asia. It's a lot cheaper to travel from here, you know, around Asia. So being based out here is dope. And then mm -hmm. Whenever I gotta go somewhere else, I just dip and I come back. So let me ask you, like, you know, is was it like um, kind of easy uh, to grow your career here compared to like Canada or in America? I mean, it's still growing and like everything else. Like as an artist, you never feel you're there, right? Right. Um, as far as crowd reception, I think the reception here is more, um, more in awe. Like you know, back home, you tell somebody you're a rapper, they're like, "Yo, my boy raps, my cousin produces." Yo, I could, you know, down there they like enjoy the actual entertainment you know it's, it's about the entertainment so mm. as far as a perform as far as a performer um, standpoint it's dope um, at the same time I miss my homies I miss like people that like have the same kind of knowledge as me like you gotta understand I'm on the whole other side of the world right mm -hmm. and like once you learn about like traditions and culture like there's a big difference you know right so like Sometimes it's just saying a joke and hoping the people around you get it, you know, when they don't get it, you feel weird, right? <laughs> so there's like that whole aspect to it that's got to grow, but all in all, it's, it's a good life, man. It's chill, it's relaxed, no stress. I never like stress, you know? Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you, you just mentioned something earlier about two minutes ago about, um, you said that, you know, your Chinese teacher in a way? Yeah, that's my here? new Chinese teacher. All right. Hey, hello. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Well, the thing is, I wanted to ask you that, uh, like, how long did it take you to, like, you know, do you know Mandarin fully yet, no, or no. still? I've only been learning for eight months. Mm. Shout out to uh, Ruth Fa. That was the teacher. That was our first teacher. Oh, okay. And she taught us a lot. Me and Chamber. Chamber's in my class. Mm. And, um, yeah, about eight months now. Mm. I say I'm all right, though. I know a lot of words. 
Okay. It's, it's all about, it's like French, because I was born in Montreal, so I speak French too, and French is backwards in English, so Ch Chinese and French, the way they structure the sentences are the same. Right. But like, I haven't spoken French in like eight years, so often I get like caught up in the languages, and my mom's Spanish, right? So like, oh, it's like I, I, I get caught up in all these languages, and then I get lost, but... I'm working on my um, Chinese. My Mandarin's getting better. That's actually pretty good. Like, if you know French, Spanish, and English, like, you already can speak, like, majority of the population in the world. And yeah, if you know Mandarin, like, you're already set. Well, I mean, that's what I'm out here, and that's what I got a teacher, right? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm very conscious that I'm, like, a black guy who speaks Chinese would be really good. Uh, yeah, 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 do that one more time. Do that. Do that. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> but, but speaking of jokes, you gotta tell them what that means. Really good. Oh <laughs> right. No. Hopefully they know. If they don't know. <laughs> catch up. <bro. laughs> I ain't gotta explain it to them like that. That's one thing I, I try not to do. I try not to explain. I just let them see it. You know. Because mm. it's very difficult to explain it. Remember, this is a whole other side of the world, fam. Mm. Yeah. Oh damn. All right. All right. So famous. I wanted to ask. Um, you know. You know, you're actually a very well-known name here in Kaohsiung, you mm -hmm. know, practically over Taiwan. I no, want to ask... famous, son. I know, I know. <laughs> you know. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, is that, um, do you think, like, not just yourself, but also, like, you know, to other foreigners who are also trying to build a career here, right. do you think it's, like, you know, very easy to do now than before? Or I you mean, think it's, it's still kind of I don't of think struggle? it's any more difficult than anywhere else in the world. You know, trying to be an artist anywhere in the world is the hardest thing. I don't mm. care where you are, right? I, it's actually, it's like, there's the pros and cons. First thing is, I don't speak the language, so I don't connect. It's like, I could play a song here, like a Michael Jackson song, and the fact that I know that like 70% of the crowd may not connect with it like me is very big, right. right? So same thing with being an artist, is like, what are they really looking at me for? They're looking at how I look, I got some muscles, I got some energy, and they're being entertained, right? Do they really get the punchline? Mm -hmm. No. You know, do they really get the whole idea of the song that I'm trying to give to them? No, right? Kind of like, so, kind of like Eminem in the beginning of 8 Mile. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you hit it up, right? <laughs> so it's like, it's like, no, it's not easy. But there's the pros and the cons. So it's, it's all in how you work it. And like, you know, it's a lot, I find it a lot easier to do business with people out here. Mm. You know? Um, I think it's because the wow factor. People want to be entertained, you know? Um, it's, it's, that's really my answer to that, man. And it's what you make of it, you know. It's a lot easier for me. It could be the way that I communicate with people. Right. You know, so if I tell somebody something else, it's like to each their own path, right? It works for me. Right. You know? But do you also think that foreigners here have to learn the language or no, or anything English nothing. is nothing? I mean, it depends what their reasoning is being here. If mm. they just want to cash out and teach English, let them be. You know, if, if they come here and want to, you know... Um, like uh, they want to do business, international business. I, I have friends who do that out here. Mm. They know the language, right? If you just want to DJ, how much you really need to know? You know, it's like to each their own. I care to know it. Right. And it's like that's the only way you're going to learn it if you care to want to learn it. Mm. So I care to learn it. If they don't care to learn it, they're not going to learn it. They're going to know the basics. I'm right. trying to make money off of this, so I care to learn it. And it seems fun too, mm. you know? So. But well, like they say, knowledge is power, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, you're right. already here. Try to, you know, try to right. leave, leave the country with something. Yo, just I want to be a an amazing human being, yo. Like, yeah. Yo, you're on anything, <laughs> right? Like, who doesn't want to be the best, right? Right. I just life. I want to say I did this, this, this. I know a bit of this. Yeah, I did this. Ooh, I met this. I party with this. My family is this. We do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's like you gotta build your resume to life. Build like be the pioneer of your family. Tell your grandchildren. Right, look, right. Look what your grandfather does. Plus, we live in an age where that is recorded, is documented. Mm. You know. So. All right, man. Yeah, man. I like this answer. Yeah. You know, so you think you'd be telling your you're like you are you gonna be telling your grandchildren this? That's the thing. I don't need to tell them. They just gotta watch. Just show them. Just show <laughs> yeah. them. Just like every you day. You live in a new every social day. media. Go on my my Facebook. You know. Like, so you think you'd be like one of those old men like Samuel Jackson? Nah, like, because be old, like, nah, like, nah, because think, think be about it. Think about it. In like twenty years. There's going to be something that's way beyond Facebook and Instagram, right? So, right. like, when I tell them, look at my, my Facebook page, they're going to be looking at me like, you know, I, <laughs> you know, look what's on this floppy disk, you know? It's like, it's different ages, but it's all relevant, so. <laughs> but at least it's going to be video. I don't know what more it'll get from video. 
Well, one thing famous I, like, I like about you already is that you're actually thinking about the future. You're not thinking about oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I'm, and that's one thing I want to ask is like, what's your, what's your advice to new artists? Not just here in Taiwan. I don't give them no advice. I tell just every, one, just one. Just it's one. so hard because you either have it or you don't. If what? I have to tell you, oh. I think if I have to tell you something yeah, to see. get you hyped, no, you're no, not hyped. I'm not talking about people who've done it for five years. I'm talking about like you're just completely new. Like you're in kindergarten in, okay, the, in right. the celebrity world. And I'm telling like, what? Just, a kindergarten just, kid? Yeah, like a first. No, like yeah, no. I'm talking like a kindergarten mindset in the celebrity I'm in, game. I'm in a kindergarten. Not mindset. you. I'm saying the people, like the new people. Okay, right. Like, you're the voice. You're the teacher now. Right. And you know, like they have no. Like this. Like someone asked you. Famous, okay. Famous, be you. How can I be a DJ? No, be you. How can I be a singer? How be can you. I be a rapper? What can you do? Be you. What does that mean? Is that be a good you? One? If me, you was picking your nose all day, you're not going to be picking your nose on stage while you're DJing. You get but what you mean? shouldn't be DJing if you're picking your nose all day. <laughs> no, for real, if you be you. Yeah, yeah, that might sound like a very small answer, but mm. being you is one of the... <laughs> who, how many people do you know are actually them? Like, mm. think about that. So, like, being you is a casualty. If you're you... You'll be successful. Most people who are but really that's successful the problem. today, a lot of people are following other people now. Right. Compared, so, compared so to the nineties, compared to the nineties, correct? People have you know used to be themselves. Tupac, Snoop, you right, name right, it. right, right. Even DJs too, break dancers. But now we always believe that everyone sounds the same. That's correct. the main complaint of this decade. Why is that? Why? Because they're not them. So my answer to those kids is like, you see, you even just. Is be you. Mm. That's the answer. So if a kid actually takes that answer and goes, what's he mean by that? Be you. Mm. Okay, let me just be me. Let me make my own decision. Let me not. And follows those steps, then that's it. Right. So yeah, that was an amazing answer. <laughs> you even backed up my answer. You gave proof on why that was such an amazing answer. Thank you, man. Be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that. Right. How can you get the one money of your dreams? What are yeah. some tips? What are some good advice? Am I, am I giving this advice to guys or girls? To anybody. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, any person. Yo, person of their dreams. Love yeah, their life. Yeah. Yo, it's like I told you, like, yo, you can't, you can't first of all, we're talking about love. Mm. So you can't put like a how to love on things, right? Mm. Love.